Howdy folks. Thanks for joining me today. We're going to do something a little bit different today. We are going to take a deck that I've been working on, a uh, blue-green uh, assassin goblin deck a build that I've been working on, and we're going to challenge one of our friends uh, to three games. I don't know what they're playing. I don't know how many different decks they're going to be playing, but uh, we're going to run through three just to get a feel for something new. So here we go. Human Sheeps is our test subject for this experiment. Cheap Goblins is the name of the deck right now. I hope everyone's day is going pretty well. Mine's going wonderfully. He is a mastermind. I'm a pastry chef. So let's see how this goes. This deck is uh, cheap is both referring to ca uh, crafting costs, of which you're not going to have to dole out much to build this, and the relatively low curve of the deck. I like both of these, and I don't want Lightning Bolt. Um, this deck is probably going to try to use Lightning Bolt to finish the game, or maybe remove blockers. Looks like my opponent's playing Mage. As far as targets for uh, things we can pull out of the deck with Goblin Skulk go, we have just three of these guys, the Murkwater Goblin and one Cruel Firebloom. I don't really like Cruel Firebloom as a card. Being able to pull one out of the deck is pretty cool. We might just get slaughtered. I mean, it's, you know, this deck's not good, so. Um, face is the place. We got Cruel Firebloom, which is less than ideal in this situation. We were able to turn it around a little bit. He can still trade in, then he's a 50% chance of hitting hitting our little fellow with it. Cunning Ally could up that uh, to a 100% chance of killing this thing this turn. Okay. So we're just going to do the Goblin Skulk, Crown Quartermaster. Do that, because if he kills one of them, he's going to kill this thing. And uh, we'd like to potentially play the Skirmisher next turn uninterrupted. Okay. So our opponent is running a uh, deck well suited to fighting against the shenanigans we have going on here this time. Um, you know, we have no choice but to persevere. See if we can't, uh, make some headway now. It's looking quite awful for us. It's worth pointing out that on the ladder, the likelihood of seeing a Hive Defender is pretty low. It's not a bad card, but, uh, I don't even think it's in a lot of the, uh, Mage Control decks, but I could be wrong. Now we have an ice storm, so we're just getting hosed. Well, just keep pushing face. We don't have any other moves right now. This deck is pretty linear, so. See what happens next. Tascad's the only card in the deck that costs more than four, I think. Uh, it's just a great card, so. And he has to have a removal spell for this, right? It is mage. Healing potion, okay. Interesting. You know, and we're just totally all in, so. One of the reasons I like Crown Quartermaster is uh, I think it's pretty high value for a one drop. It lets you trade some of your smaller, crappier creatures into the guards that your opponent's going to be throwing around. Okay, so it would not be surprising, right, if he prophecies a. Well, we're not going to get the opportunity anyway. I was going to say if he prophecies a Piercing Javelin. But this isn't the worst thing that we could have in Piercing Javelin, so... We're not going to throw the Murkwater Goblin down yet. So he didn't... The first card is not a Prophecy, which is interesting. Um, what does that mean? Crushing Blow, or the Paladin, the 4 4 4, four the gains Drain? I guess we're about to find out if it's Crushing Blow. <laughs> or the Tiger. Alright. So, good times with guard creatures. I 
We have a green card on top. We're not running a whole lot of blue cards, so it's not terribly surprising. I have not been particularly impressed with the card Nimble Ally, but I wanted to get some games in. This is the uh, first deft of this deck, but I wanted to get some games in before I made any big changes. And um, Honestly, playing in casual mode, you just face the most garbage decks imaginable. So, Alright, this gets us potentially a little more attacking in. I think this is a really under underrated, underplayed card. I mean, you know, the two toughness is not great, but I feel like as a tempo card, it's pretty useful. And we have just more guard creatures from our opponent, who is uh, on the mono guard card strategy. I suppose that is one way to play the game. Shrieking Harpy I like because it's a great uh, tempo way to push them face damage. Interesting, Vicious Drow, I'm not sure. And Firestorm. Okay. <laughs> you know, I guess when you're taking a new deck out, you should just expect to see all sorts of things like this. Um, and of course, this deck is, of course, the Mage deck, which is known for removal. So our long-term strategy is... Oh, that's so awful. I mean, I guess two is better than one, but man, we... That's not what we need to be drawing right now. So we have potential for lethal next turn. I really like this card. I feel like these lane-changing cards in general are pretty powerful and underplayed. But, uh, you know, there's no way to know if... Uh, if we have the ability to get this guy through the turn. Nope, there we have another Firestorm. And he has a healing potion. Okay. So... I like Sodrus Agent here because it hopefully leaves us with a 2-1 alive. Queen Branthia is pretty cool. Uh, this is another, I think, uh, high, va very valuable card in uh, blue-green. Doesn't see a lot of play. I mean, I'm mostly playing it, and he's got Maroc, right? I don't know what the fuck we're playing against, guys, to be honest with you. I apologize. <laughs> there was no way to know that uh, this was going to be what we were facing. So we have no way to win now. We have lost this game. We'll play it out, let him have his moment. But it's over. Hopefully for the next games he brings something that we're uh, slightly more competitive against, or maybe the Goblins deck is just complete crap, you know. It's totally possible that that is the case, I suppose. Dun, 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 dun. Yep. Dune Smuggler, very exciting card. When you have no board. <laughs> what do we expect to see next, right? Um, what's the worst case scenario for us? It's all pretty bad, right? Like, we can't... Uh, we'd have to t <laughs> find a way to draw two lightning bolts. That's not a lightning bolt. Piercing Javelin. Very exciting. So he probably has a way to win next turn. You know, he's got 11 on board. <laughs> but, what are you going to do? I think, I mean, I think Control Mage is one of the most powerful decks in the format right now, so there's not much you can do about that. And there's the Lightning Bolt, right? With the, oh, Crushing Blow. Okay. Very exciting. Alright, so let's go to the next game. <laughs> a game, hopefully against a deck a little less tuned to fight aggro, but maybe we just built an awful aggro deck. Round two, fight. I've been working on trying to get, uh, people have been asking me about Twitch. I've been working to try to get on Twitch, um... 
you know, I never recorded any videos for any games until last week, so the learning curve is steep with this sort of thing. I apologize for not uh, getting it all together sooner. I have a Twitch account channel set up, but I have not been able to stream successfully yet. I, uh, I'm in a different room than my, uh, I use a wireless, uh, receiver thing, um, I'm in a different room than my router, I believe is what, is what that device is called, and so I'm having trouble with having really stuttery internet and um, when I'm trying to stream so until I figure out the best way to deal with that we are gonna have to just make do with uh, buying a giant cable and running it upstairs or moving my router I'm not sure I do all my computing down here in the basement I it's cooler down here I live in Colorado it's nice and comfortable in the basement so once again, it's not entirely clear if we're just really unlucky or our deck is complete crap. One of the two is uh, certainly the case, but we'll see what happens. We warded this guy up before we swung instead of after, uh, like we would in most matches, because this deck runs finish off and leaf lurker. Okay, that makes sense, right? We drew the cruel fire bloom. All right. Well, um, what's the best way to do this? I think we want to. I mean, so ideally we hit this. We're just gonna play like assuming that that's what's gonna happen. We did not. And this game's pretty much over, too. <laughs> Soul Rest Marshall. Doing God's work. We don't have any Cruel Fire Blooms left, so there's no point in getting excited. So we have a choice here, right? We either swing with the Goblin Skull, can get another one of these, and then buff them. Or we just buff it. I like getting more value over here in this lane. So... We're going to do like that. Oh, and we triggered a prophecy. <laughs> this is what it looks like when nothing works the way you hoped it did. Sharpshooter Scout doing God's work. So what's the good trade for him here, right? I mean, I feel like he has to kill this. He doesn't know what else we have to pull out of the deck. But maybe a Scoven Pyromancer finish off or something we should expect over here. The uh, Elusive Schemer is in the deck because you can pull the copies out of it out of your deck with the Goblin Skulk that it creates. When it dies, you know, it shuffles in a copy. Just to finish off, do we have the Pyromancer to literally finish me off? <laughs> Another finish off. And a Murkwater Savage. Okay. Well. Murkwater Shaman. The only sort of controlling card in the deck. We don't run anything to combo with it. I mean, there's no Leaf Lurker. There's no finish off. It's just a goblin. It's green. If you have suggestions for this deck, too, go ahead and post them in the comments. I'm not a very big fan of the uh, blue-green goblins deck list that took off in popularity a couple weeks ago. And I, by no means am I saying that this deck is better. I just wanted to start from the ground floor and come up with my own version. Earthbone Spinner. All right, so um, what's the plan? This gets us one off lethal. <laughs> we do run lightning bolt. I mean, one off lethal if we're allowed to attack next turn. There's no way this thing survives. And at this point too, I'm kind of expecting him just to play Elena Banach and kill that thing. 
That works too, buddy. Really sorry I couldn't bring y'all more entertaining matches than this. House Kinsman. So last time we came up just short. This time looks like we're going to come up just short. Just short, of course, doesn't really matter. I mean, we're not getting anywhere, but we're doing our best. Triumph at Jarl. Crown Quartermaster. Murkwater Skirmisher. Two Crown Quartermasters. So all we need to do is find a way to kill this. Not die next turn with 8, 9, 10, 11, 15 on board. And also uh, kill that guy next turn. Huh? It's a goddamn shame that that's like a Sonic Goblin, isn't it? Holy shit. Oh, good luck to my opponent. Good luck to uh, House Kinsman. Feel like bringing it home for Team Goblins? Uh, if he procs a lightning bolt uh, on Prophecy while he's going face here, I will be lightning bolting House Kinsman. <laughs> but seems unlikely that we're going to get there. Right. Yep. Oh, Tazgad. Where the fuck were you? <laughs> oh, good game. I guess. <laughs> Alright. So we're 0 for 2 against uh, good competitive ladder decks. Didn't get there either time. Let's see what he has for our final round. Cheap goblins. This cup, by the way, I really like this cup. Somebody asked me about it in a message. It is a, a Gustav Klimt painting. Uh, it's my... Um, my girlfriend, one of my girlfriend's favorite painters. I'm just enjoying some coffee. It looks like he's brought a blue-green deck, too. Let's hope things work out a little bit better this time. On the other hand, this is definitely giving us a lot of feedback, right? Like, the deck uh, struggles against two of the four best decks in the format. Which means it's not good enough to take on the ladder, in my opinion. This is an incredibly small sample size, of course, but seems like that's the case. As far as which lane to put the Murkwater Savage in right there, I feel like it's mostly incidental at this point. Um, so do we Sodras Agent or do we Murkwater Witch Thieves Recruit? Let's Thieves Recruit first. Now, he didn't have an answer for this last time. Next turn, he can lightning bolt it. I think I'm okay with it being lightning bolted, so... There's our plan. I assume it's just, like, Firestorm now, given how, uh... this has gone so far. <coughs> So what's he playing? This has to be Soul Rest Marshall with Smother combo, right? Um, let's just do this. Draw a card. We're not getting around with Smother Soul Rest combo next turn anyway. And let's give this ward and play a House Kinsman of our own. What he's playing is, uh, I mean, there are no tier 1 blue-green decks, so if we don't win this game, I think it's back to the drawing board with this pile of shit. <laughs> Alrighty. So, if we swing, swing, he can lightning bolt, or he can uh, firebolt that. 
so. So we're just doing the face thing. Do 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 do. What do you guys think? Should we have music on the uh, on these games? If you're looking for some musical entertainment while we're playing, go ahead and let me know. I will see what I can do. We are ahead in life now, if that is indeed what he's trying to do. We have one goblin in hand, no goblins on board, so maybe we save this for some sort of comeback play. I'd like to draw a card. It's a good card. I'd like to shackle that. We are playing before we break runes because we're sort of tilting right now. Let's see what happens. Um, Team Prophecy did is doing a uh, in-house tournament right now, and this is the deck I brought with me along with Scout, and it uh, it it beat. Um, I believe Delude was playing Spell Sword Tokens, the new version, but that's not exactly. Um, the sort of deck we would struggle with anyway because they are sort of trying to run a tempo token swarm game and don't carry a lot of answers to our small crappy creatures. What I'd like to do this turn is get my goblins on board so I can do some crazy swing next turn. But I think what we want to do is this. Play for a little bit longer game. We are representing, you know, we do have lethal if nothing goes terribly awry, but I think it's safe to say that something will. So what are we taking away from these games? Um, we don't have any answers to guards. At least not several in a row. We don't have... All our creatures are small and crappy and die easily. And it's the worst sort of all-in strategy, really, because it's not fast enough to get away with uh, what we're trying to accomplish. So we have a couple choices, right? We can try to speed up what we're doing. We can try to give what we're doing a little more uh, heft, you know, a little more ability to survive. Or we can scrap the idea entirely. I think the answer is to draw on the strengths of what we're trying to accomplish, right? The strengths of this are sort of the flexibility and the tempo cards. It's not practical to rely on the goblin aggro having a whole lot of synergy with the um, blue cards that are sort of haphazardly thrown in. Okay, well that was interesting. I appreciate you guys watching that. Um, let me know in the comments if you want to see more of this deck or watch as I kind of build it into what I hope to be a much better deck. And uh, in general, just let me know if you'd like to see a greater variety of decks. You know, I prefer to play um, ladder with the scout deck, but if there's something you all would like to see instead, let me know. And just a heads up, next season on the Grind 2 ladder, I'm going to be playing something completely different than I've been playing so far. And... Uh, I'm open to the suggestions if there's something you'd really like to see. Uh, maybe a color combination and we'll try to build something like that together. Um, but I have no problem grinding my way up to ladder uh, legend rank with something ridiculous. I did the season with mono red and uh, I have to say I kind of enjoyed myself even though I don't like playing aggro decks that much. So, Anyway guys, thank you very much for your time. I will see you next time.